I'm Moon Salad and I saw Scooby-Doo episode 12, Scooby-Doo. And A Mommy 2, it is produced by Hanna-Barbera. And if you haven't seen this, spoilers ahead for you. The episode starts with Scooby and friends. They're going to a museum to meet a professor. And the professor is like, hello, I'm your friend. And oh no, there's something wrong is happening here, okay? Scooby and friends meet a professor because, hey, we're gonna look at this mummy, 3,000 years old. Ooh, spooky. And, well, I can't believe it. Turns out the mummy's alive. The Scooby-Doo takes a hammer and nails, pins down part of the toilet, I think toilet paper, Whatever paper that the mummy is wrapped in, Scooby-Doo nails it to the floor, and looks like the mummy has lost a piece of himself. And Velma finds the mummy. Velma finds this, uh, this lovely piece of mummy, and it's like, I, I, it's fun. I like Velma discovering her mummy. <laughs> What is all this happening? What's happening? What's going on here? I don't understand. We have Scooby and gang. They're being split up. We have Velma losing her glasses. Wow, how irresponsible. I do appreciate though that the story is focused on following the characters as they lose their glasses and they have to go find their glasses, but they fail and end up in a different area entirely, gets into some sort of garbage can in the trash where she belongs. Oh man, you, rem you remember Velma? Oh man, Velma is not fun. If you haven't seen my review on that, why haven't you? It's Great. I think you will thoroughly appreci appreciate how in depth I go because of how much I hate Velma. And I'm glad to be watching these old Scooby Doo's to remind us of a time of when Velma didn't exist. Man, I am so happy, man. Ah, yeah. Shaggy bails Velma out with an extra pair of glasses. Very convenient. Good for Shaggy. What a good friend Shaggy is to Velma. And it's like, ooh, they're very good friends. I like how Shaggy's always there for Velma, it seems. And now it's time to find Fred and Daphne. And there's a mummy on the loose. We have Scooby-Doo doing his usual hijinks, but his usual hijinks help assist everyone in finding who this person is behind this mummy. By the way, the professor has been kidnapped. There was a coin that Shaggy has, and oh boy, that mummy is gold thirsty, baby. I appreciate Shaggy for not giving the money to the mummy, okay? Good on him, what a good person Shaggy is. Of course, his power levels are over 9,000, it's okay. After they discover all of the things surrounding this mummy, and it's weird, this isn't 3,000 years old, hmm. What's wrong with all of this stuff? And turns out to be a guy. Oh man, man, I remember not his name. I don't remember his name, but he's not a mummy. Uh, he's a dude and it's, it's, dang it. Uh, I'm gonna call this man, Mr. N no, no man. No, no man, all right, no, no man. I remember his name starting with an N, but I don't remember what it was. So no, no man uh, is uncovered as the dude who's doing all the bad deeds. That's no good. Doing bad deeds, no bueno. Why would you ever do bad deeds, okay? Come on, bad deeds, not a good. What are bad deeds? 
Who cares about thinking though? Because Scooby Doo, this episode after they catch this dude is over. Wow, they did it. Scooby Doo ends on a really positive note of Scooby Doo being a boy dog, a dude guy. He's cool. What do I mean by that? He's he's a he's a he's a he's he's definitely very clumsy. I don't know what ha that has to do with gender. The last one was a castle. I appreciate this one being a museum, especially about like Egyptian mu a mummy dude who's like, oh, I'm going to eat your brains. And it's like, do mummies really do that? Okay. I feel like it's always some dude just trying to scare somebody in order to have some sort of financial gains. So that's what Scooby Doo is all about. The animation, you know, better than the first nine episodes. I really appreciate that. I really hope that Scooby-Doo, one day, Scooby forever. I like Scooby-Doo. I wish Scooby-Doo would be my friend, you know, because dogs are nice. I like dogs. I wish I had a dog. I was petting a dog. You know, remember the time where a dog came on my photo shoot? That was really nice. I remember the Baywatch short. 20 seconds, and then dog. I like dogs. Oh, man, I love dogs. Okay. And I wish Scooby-Doo was my dog friend. But that's enough of that. The animation is pretty better than the first nine episodes. I like how each, like, it's it's animated like you just have one picture and the, and it shakes. The, that cell shakes. And it's nice. It's a nice way to, like show somebody moving without actually drawing multiple frames. I like that. And this is much more colorful than the last episode. I gotta give this a solid a 6 for 1 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer, so if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that. I can fast track a movie review request at patreon.com slash ASC presents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month or one movie uh, or $3 a month for how, how to draw Pokemon tutorials posted there early and 250 vlogs that are posted there right now at patreon.com slash ASU presents. And if you'd like to help support Daily Grind this, you go to the link tree. It really helps with the Daily Grind to this of all these daily movie reviews. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for stuff. So, you know, you can really help me there, uh, the link tree. So, till next time I'm in Salad Saw, I'll see you later my Sal Croutons and Bacon Bits.